Hello, it's me and I'm running out the door, but this is just a quick real time get ready with me I'm showing you guys how I do my makeup when I literally have 20 minutes or less to do it and considering I did this in 20 minutes like mm, eyes look great and considering I threw a wing on like Snaps to me for getting this done in 20 minutes. So without further ado because I really got to go Let's get on to my real time makeup routine here we are, I'm running late as usual. Mike and I spent a lot of time in bed today and I have my uncle's 50th birthday party that we are going to shortly. Look how cute my mug is. How cute. With all Halloween cats, I love Halloween, it's my favorite holiday. Well, we don't have a lot of time to chit chat today. Neutrogena alcohol free toner on a cotton pad and I'm just gonna whisk this all over my face to just get rid of any residue. Yeah, so Mike and I had a lovely morning together. We stayed in bed until like 9.30, which is unheard of for him because he's usually up at the crack of dawn. And then I just lay in bed for three hours by myself. He cuddled, it was cute, he made breakfast. We had a really nice morning, hence why I'm rushing now. Gossier Brown Black Brow Flick. I can never say that. And then I'm just gonna put this wherever I need to be filled in. And with this, something to know if you do buy this, you need to store it like upside down. Otherwise I find that the pigment doesn't really come out that easy, but I'm just filling in wherever I need it. I'm not just like drawing this all over my brow. I feel like to get the optimal use out of this product and like the best results, I should say, you just need to use it where you really need it. This is supposed to be like a lax look like laid back, you know what I mean when I say lax? It's supposed to be like an undone, done brow, if that makes any sense. That's it, that's all I'm really gonna do. Do the other brow, shape tape. I'm gonna put some on the lids just to prime and then spread it out with my finger. I'm gonna do the eyes first today because I am gonna be using liner and I just prefer to do the eyes first, like if it's possible. This way if I'm really running out of time at the end of this, I can just like power through and do a little bit less face makeup. This Il Maquillage palette, this is the Color Boss Squad in The Real Deal. I wanna lay this shimmer shade down, flat, somewhat fluffy brush, and just lay this down everywhere. This is gonna set that concealer we just put on. Blending brush, and I'm gonna grab this shade right here. It's kinda like a pinky brown, almost, like a pinky taupe. And I'm just gonna put this in the crease just to give the eye some dimension. And I don't wanna layer this up too much. I think I put too much like eyeshadow in the crease. And then it makes my eyes look a little smaller or like too heavy, just for like a little wash of color, really light. I'm kinda gonna bring it down a little bit in the corner. It kinda just like lifts the eye. An angled brush and that Marc Jacobs eyeliner that I have really been loving lately. It's the highliner. If I could find it, I think I did put it away before. Where did I put it? Pick it up directly from the pencil and I'm kind of just gonna give myself like a little wing at the end. I don't really like this brush though. But I'm just gonna keep it at the end. I'm gonna wing it out ever so slightly. Where's that lip brush that I love so much? I got this off of Amazon. I will link it down below. Um, I really love these lip brushes. I don't really use them for the lips. I use them for the eyes a lot. And I'm really just keeping it to that outer third of the eye. Maybe I'll go in with this a little bit. And I'm getting it really close to the lashes, like I'm pushing it between the lashes on the outside of the eye. And then I'm gonna flick it out a little bit, but I'm gonna keep my eye open when I flick it because I do have hooded eyes and I wanna go past that fold right there. And I'm gonna go back in with this and just blend it out a little bit. And then I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs Fine Liner and I'm going to tight line the rest of my lid. So I feel like it looks a little weird without eyeliner in here. And I'm just putting it right to the lashes. And then for the remainder of the eye, so it kind of doesn't look like that wing's just floating there, I'm gonna go in 
to the waterline and try and like tie the top to the waterline. I kinda wanna soften that, so I'm gonna take this brown on a pencil brush. I'm gonna pat this over the black. This shade one more time. I'm gonna hit that on the brow bone just to like lift the eye. And then I did just get this Butter London. This is their new Glaze and Smooth Silk Shadow Palette. And it's just a bunch of different glitters. And I wanted to just pop a glitter on the lid. Look how cute this packaging is. It's like a little bird with a crown. So adorable. And what shade do I want to do? Look how pretty they are. I don't know why I feel like this shade is really speaking to me. I'm going to go ahead and take this and pop this all over the lid. And I'm putting it over that liner as well. Oh yeah, yeah. I wanted that to be like very dialed down. I'm into that. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna moisturize the face. I'm gonna be using my Pond's Dry Skin Cream. We're gonna do like a light beat to the face, but it's gonna be really hydrating and it's gonna look really nice. After I've applied this all over the skin, I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna go in with some eye cream. So we're kind of doing this all over the place. I find that when I do my makeup, honestly, on a day-to-day -day basis, I don't really follow the same steps every day. Sometimes I do my skin care after I do my eyes. It's just like preference. You, more power to you if you do it the same every day. Probably a lot more organized of you. Ooh, I forgot to put serum on. I would have put this on before I put that on, but I totally forgot. This is the Vici Mineral 89, but we're just gonna pretend like I put that on. Radiance Primer, this has an SPF of 35. I really like this because it gives a nice shimmer to the skin. I've used this so many times on my channel. Um, not so much recently, but in the past I have. So I like to focus this on the highest points of my cheeks, down the bridge of my nose, on my chin, anywhere that I wanna bring forward. And I just focus it there. And then when I'm done, I just spread that out. Okay, now while that's soaking into the skin, let's go ahead and optimize our time. I'm gonna go and curl my lashes. I definitely think I'm gonna throw some more shadow maybe in the inner corner up top, but I think I'm done with the lash line. So I'm gonna take my Tweezer Man eyelash curler. And this is legit like a real time get ready with me because as you can see, I'm jumping all over the face, but that's just to really optimize time. You should do this too if you know you don't have like an hour to do your makeup. Il Maquillage, this is the Icon High Volume Mascara, my favorite mascara at the moment. And I'm just gonna coat the lashes with this. Babe, I'll be ready in 15. 15? Yeah, I said 12, 15. It's just like, it makes them so wispy. It's such a pretty mascara. I poked myself in the eyeball with this wand though one time. That was not a fun experience. Mm. It just made me love the eye makeup even more. I feel like mascara, sometimes all you really need is the mascara and then it like ties it together because I was really hating this look and now I don't. Okay, so I took my Tarte Tape Shape and I put that in the areas of my face that I typically put it in. I'm gonna go ahead and take my small Eco Tool sponge. This is a damp baby sponge. And I'm just gonna stamp this out. And I really want this to look like a natural makeup. I don't want this to be over the top. And this is definitely a makeup routine that I have used to go to work. I've gone to the office in this kind of makeup. It's just like, lighter, fresher, makes your skin look uniform, but it doesn't look like too overdone. I'm gonna take what's ever left and put it around my nose because I tend to get really red here. I definitely want a little bit of foundation. Which foundation do I want to use today? I'm gonna use a little bit of my L'Oreal Infallible pump on this guy. Take it up with the sponge and just stamp this all over the face. I like, hate how fragranted this foundation is I feel like I really loved it like the first month of me using it and I feel like this kind of happens with makeup and me and I just I'm like over it now I'm gonna use it it's not like awful I think it's a really great drugstore makeup but I don't know my skin just like is not agreeing with it anymore 
and I feel like sometimes that happens. But it's a medium coverage. You can still see my imperfections. You can see some of my freckles on my head and that is what I want. I'm gonna take this and a little bit of setting spray on the flatter side of the sponge, like so, like two mists, and I'm just gonna pat the rest of my face to just further blend this all in. I'm gonna set my face using my Essence Banana Powder Brighten Up. The top broke off of this, please ignore really me talking to myself because it's highly annoying that that happened. A small fluffy brush to really concentrate this where I need it. I'm going to put it underneath my eyes so my concealer does not move around my nose, on my chin, and then I'm going to go in with that flat side again. I'm going to go directly into the pan and I'm just going to put this where I'm gonna put my bronzer and my blush so that they blend on a little bit better. And I'm not putting it in this section because I want that to be dewy that's where you want the, a natural highlight on your face but i'm gonna put this everywhere else bh cosmetics because what other bronzer do i use really a fluffy brush i'm just gonna like contour using this bronzer give a little definition chisel out the cheekbones like so blending brush and just put this down the sides of the nose to bring a little definition to the nose so it doesn't look so flat. Chisel it out a little bit, but nothing crazy. No Cosmetics, this is the Pinky Beach Blush. Such a pretty blush, especially with this. I feel like it's gonna really bring the pink in our eyes forward. I'm gonna take that on a Morphe E3 and I'm just gonna pat this on the apples of my cheeks. bring what's ever left over the nose like that and then just i like to dust it all over the face i want to jump back in here yellow and i want to put that in the inner corner of my eye so i'm gonna grab a more precise brush i'm gonna grab that yellow and i'm gonna put it right here and like blend it up into the crease that's really pretty. It's not like so yellow, it's very muted. And then I'm gonna go in with my no, no, NAS, my nose contouring brush and just take whatever is left on that brush and just bring it underneath my lash line on the bottom, like so. Wow, that looks really good. I'm gonna pick up some of that pink from the Omakiage palette, put that under there as well. Just a little bit, a light dusting. Now I'm going to take some brow gel to just dust any of the powder that may have gotten into the brows out. Spray the face. Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. My Becca highlighter, I broke this, which I was really upset about. It's in opal. Is it an opal? No, vanilla quartz. I don't know why I always call it opal. Grab that on fluffy brush. I'm just gonna hit that on the highest points of my cheeks. Down the nose a little bit. Oh, my cupid's bow. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. I'm gonna go back in with my blush brush and just pat over. Just to blend it out a little bit better. Mascara on the lower lash line. This is me really like running through it here. This is real time people, real time. I'm gonna put a little bit on the lower lash line. And then for lips, forever walnut. And then I'm gonna go in with just some Fenty Glow and we're gonna call it a day. This is the finished makeup look. I'm actually really happy with how this came out. I wasn't really loving how this liner looks, but I think once I put the lashes on and the rest of the face was done, I'm really impressed. We did this all in 20 minutes, which for me is unbelievable, especially because I threw a wing on. So if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up down below. Let me know that you enjoy these uh, real time get ready with me. Sorry, I should have moved that. I didn't notice that was there until right now. But anyway, this is how I normally get ready because if you ask anyone that knows me, especially Mike, I am always late to everything. I'm always running late, always running late. And I literally have two minutes to go put jeans on 
and some shoes on. So I really do have to go, but I do want to thank you guys so much for joining me today. I had a wonderful time as always. I'm sorry if you felt rushed in this one, but if you have any questions, any comments, anything at all, please be sure to leave it down below in the comments section. I love to hear from you guys. Thank you guys so much for joining me and I will catch you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.